Das war gut. I think it's great. Obviously, it's great for the university. It's great for our athletic department. Uh, I think it's a terrific thing for our basketball program also, obviously, as well. So, um, you know, for me, I, I don't have you know, precedent anywhere else. I, I wasn't a coach in the WAC or anything like that. So to come here in the Southland is something that I'm really excited about. Uh, I think it's a really good fit for what we're trying to do, and I'm looking forward to it. And then how, how soon do you begin looking at those other teams here in the Southland and what they do on the court, their success, and what those teams look like and what you guys have to do to compete and, and, and win against these Southland teams? Yeah, there's a real balance. Obviously, we're trying to make this team as best as we can, right? With, there's so many new faces, there's so many new pieces to, to what this program is becoming. Uh, that's taken up a lot of our time and our energy and our, our resources and our thought process. But um, obviously you're paying attention to what's out there also. We want to beat everybody. So um, to do that, we have to be prepared. We have to know who's out there and what we're competing against and uh, what that's going to look like moving forward in the conference. So uh, it's a little bit of both for sure. New guys, new pieces. Just uh, what's the update on yourself, some of the workouts of Brian, Coach? You know, probably not as fast as I would like, right? I'm sure there's a lot of coaches across the country that are saying the same thing. Uh, you know, everybody says we're working hard. Everybody says the energy's great and the, you know, the enthusiasm's great and all that kind of stuff. Uh, right now, frankly, we're probably not good enough. So we, we got to get a lot better. We have to improve a lot of different areas. Um, I will say the guys are working their behinds off. And they're doing everything they're asked to do. Um, you know, I, we're, we're obviously going to get there. We're going to get to that point. Uh, but like any, any head coach, we're, we're probably not where we need to be right now very hands-on coaching approach I know you have. So how have the guys just kind of responded to you and how have you kind of responded to them so far up to this point? You know, they might tell you something differently as far as how they're responding to me, but, you know, as far as face-to-face -face and practice and workouts and film and all that kind of stuff, they've been terrific. Their attitude's been fantastic. Uh, they're eager to learn. They've had an unbelievable um, receptiveness to new information and new styles. And, um, you know, we're talking about 13 scholarship players that have all, you know, played in and, and been coached in different ways. So uh, to get everybody on the same page in, in this short uh, period of time in June, um, has been a challenge, but it's something that's fun, and I think the guys have had a terrific uh, attitude, attitude towards towards getting that done. Now, my last question is with the, the vision with where UTRG is going right now with athletics, obviously today, a uh, big chapter with the movement to the Southland. Um, just how how you kind of taken everything in uh, since you've been here? Obviously, it's your first year. Uh, they jumped to a new conference. Just how have you kind of taken everything in, and just uh, how do you see the vision of UTRG? Here. Yeah, the vision is exciting. I think with uh, with Chase Conk and President Bailey and just kind of what they've put forth from a foundation standpoint, uh, not only with facilities like the atrium and what we're doing with the practice facility and uh, obviously football coming on board and, and everything that's going to bring to this program and university. Uh, I think the vision is very, very clear as, as far as growth, um, as far as achievement, everything's being put in place. Um, for all of our programs, you know, from basketball to football to tennis to soccer and everything in between uh, to achieve at a really high level. And I think that's absolutely possible here. Uh, I think moving to this conference is going to be um, something that's conducive to our success as well. So uh, we're really excited about it. Coach, for the returning players that are back to, to this to this roster, just to what, what, have, what has been the early reception uh, from them been like for you in these uh, days of practice and what, what's kind of like that message talking to them? Yeah, I think you said it perfectly yourself, right? It's just kind of understanding their experience, right? They, they've been here. Some of them have been here for multiple years. And, and Isaiah Barnier, um, you know, Howie Flumley has been around for a long, long time with multiple schools. Um, you know, obviously Hassan and JJ, they all have different paths. They have different, um, you know, stories that have led them to this point. Obviously, this past season didn't go the way that they would have planned or would have hoped. Um, so just really understanding what that looks like for them and what that experience means for them. Um, and then just laying out in a very, very clear, concise way what our vision is moving forward and uh, what our standards are and what we're looking to achieve here in the future. So um, they're a massive part of what we're trying to accomplish. All those guys, I'm so thankful and grateful that they chose to, to come back and be a part of this program. And, um, you know, they've been, they've been terrific. They've been great on the floor. They've been great with their teammates. Uh, they've been great with this new coaching staff, and we're really fortunate to have them. I'm thrilled. <laughs> I think I think all the coaches that work in this building are really excited about this new practice facility. I think it's going to be a massive resource for us, um, for our individual sports, for this athletic department. Uh, I think it's a very cool thing to have. It's going to make our players better first and foremost. So it just gives them another resource um, and facility and space to get to get better at their games and and work at it and 
do what it takes to be successful, right? And, and having that kind of a um, infrastructure in place to, to help, you know, foster that is awesome. So we're really, really excited about that.